Hello, it's Renee Barabal, the Practical Shaman, here with the Weekly Wind. It's where we pull a Wind Spirit Oracle card from the Wind Eye, and then we look at the interpretation and Winds of Spirit, and then I tell you what's in it for you this week. What is it that you need to know about this week? Let's see, what wind do we have here? Wow, okay. So the wind that we have this week is Oya, the Yoruba wind of transformation, and it's about cutting through your delusions. And so what we always do first is send back the wind that you were working with last week. And for many of you, you can get a free sample of these cards on my website. Just open any blog at The Practical Shaman, and down at the bottom it says get your free wind spirit cards, or you can order a set. And we had some... So we have so far this month in December, lots and lots of wind whistles going out around the world to France, Germany, UK, um, oh, Spain. It's been, a, it's been a whirlwind for my Santa's helper elf going to the post office. And these are those handmade wind whistles. The, the, um, so, oh yeah, the, the, the Yoruba wind of transformation she loves women in commerce. That's one of her favorite, her favorite things. And yet, if you're out of integrity, Oya will, you know, burn you down to the ground. And one example we saw of that was that there was a, a woman in running for political office that a lot of people were rooting for, but we pulled Oya right before this dinner party one night. And lo and behold, right after uh, one of my friends went to this dinner party. The next thing you know, there was like a lot of stuff coming in out in the media about how this um, person had behaved unethically in many situations, and her uh, and her the her support declined rapidly after that. So I don't know if it had to do with Oya or not, but let's before we get into Oya, let's send that wind back from last week that you're working on and just. Send it back to the universe with love and light, no intention, just sending that wind back, sending that wind home that you no longer need. Personally, last week I was working with Dagoda, the Polish wind of compassion. But let's talk about Oya. And in Winds of Spirit, you'd see that it talks about uh, Oya from the east, Oya from the south, the north, and the west. And how do you know which direction you're heading? I get this question all the time. One simple way, because, you know, in like if you were navigating a ship, you're going north this moment, but you might be heading northeast the next and south the next. So this is like a, the wind blows in the present moment, and this is a present moment reading. What you could, I suggest you could do is you could close your eyes and imagine yourself sitting either in your favorite place in nature or even in your living room. And, and visualize in your mind's eye getting up and exiting your house through a wall, a window, a door, anything that works for you. If you're out in nature, look for that path that's heading and just start to head in that direction. And this, you know, in sacred time, things happen like boom, boom, boom. Not, you don't need, there's no like 10 minutes, an hour for this stuff. Ask yourself, which direction am I heading? When I just closed my eyes and looked, I headed out the front door and was heading west. So I'm going to read about Oya in the West. It's really quite that simple. I mean, in my wind mastery classes or in the Become a Wind Alchemist class coming up on the Ship Network, we'll go into it a little more deeply and look more at uh, one project, one thing you want to accomplish next year, or one thing that you did or didn't accomplish in the past, and really look at it from a standpoint of, which cardinal direction it, it began in, where it's sitting now, and what you might need to do to move it. But just for a daily quick reading, you can close your eyes and see what direction you're heading, and that's good enough for the moment. A change of season is in the air when Oya blows in from the western quadrant. 
As a gatekeeper of life, Oya can guide you through transition at home, business, or within your multidimensional self. Oya can open doors and reveal new vistas. If you are experiencing a loss, keep in mind the cycle you are presently experiences is quickly waning. The fruits of your harvest will become evident after the next growing season. Now, how does that relate to your life? So we're coming, it's December, we're coming to the end of a year. So what did you harvest this year? Did you harvest a full field? Was, you know, were you lugging away bags and bags of things that you harvested? Or was it a year where the, the terrain was empty? You harvested a fallow field because this was a transitional year and there was um, not a lot to dig out of the garden. That you can answer for yourself. I know this year for me has been extremely busy. I, I don't even know what I've harvested because it's been so, the, I filled up wagon after wagon of projects and things and and now I'm getting ready to launch a shift network class with a lot of people who are now going to experience the wind work. So for me, that makes a lot of sense that Oya supports this endeavor. She's gonna support these people through this process of this become a wind alchemist and that we're not even gonna know the rewards until next year at this time. Some people need immediate gratification. However, this is a system that can help you learn how to be in your life, learn how to manifest energy into form over and over and over again. It's a, it's a, it's a formula that you can use in your life. And then you invite in these wind spirits like Oya who can help that transformation go rapidly or, you know, burn those things down to the ground that no longer serve you and add that dimension of the wind archetypes in there. Then you really can start to really look at where you are, where you're going and how is the most expedient route to get there. All right, so I love Oya, and you can call upon Oya. If you weren't heading west, you can, you know, if you don't have the book Winds of Spirit, you can possibly search on the, the website, uh, practicalshaman.com, because a lot of these winds were on here before the, before the book got published. But when you need the power to cut through delusions and stagnations, call for Oya. Women in business can summon her strength for help, help them succeed in the marketplace. All right, this is holiday time. So what are you selling? What do you, you know, maybe you're at the craft fair or maybe you're selling your services. Maybe you need to get a gift gift package up so that you can, you know, post it over at the Wind Clan on our Sunday shout outs and let people know about your service because Oya is here this week to help us cut through the delusions, move forward in our lives. So let's call to Oya and bring her in in a good way. Breathe in deeply, and upon your exhale, merge with Oya, the wind of transformation. And on our third wind hill, exhale, we're going to Put a protective bubble, an energy bubble around whatever it is that we're trying to grow so that if it needs a little extra protection, Oya can help. Hmm. Thank you. I'm Renee Barabo, the Practical Shaman, uh, coming to you with the Weekly Wind Spirit card. I'm the Nautilus Gold Award-winning Hay House author of Winds of Spirit, and also launching a Become a Wind Alchemist class on the SHIP Network. And, and also it's December, so it's time for our annual I Am Symposium, and we have 17 shamanic practitioners who will be sharing about how to navigate these tumultuous winds of change 
that we're in as we end 2019 and as we start a new decade. Okay, hope to see you over at the Practical Shaman or at the Wind Clan.